Hey everybody, welcome to another discussion. It's not a video game, it's an anime one actually. So we're going back to Dragon Ball Super for a minute. So it's been a very long time since I talked about Dragon Ball Super on the channel. There's been nothing new about Dragon Ball Super other than the movie with Broly. And I haven't seen it because it's not out yet, of course. So here's the theory that I just rethought and I think everyone's kind of forgot about in a while but I only rethought about it because they technically they said it again in the English dub of Dragon Ball Super so as of today November 3rd or 4th I forget 2018 Saturday on on Toonami on Cartoon Network I was watching the newest episode of Dragon Ball Super English dubbed and uh, it was basically the episode I was gonna go get uh, Android 17 see if he wants to be recruited into the power, tournament power for Team 7 right and, um, in a nutshell, at some point when Goku talks to, uh, wow, I almost forgot his name, Dende at the clock tower, clock tower? Watchtower, watchtower, <laughs> um, they talk about a kid in a village having potential to be a fighter, and he is a reincarnation of Kid Buu, Majin Buu, and that right there I just want to say this is the theory I believe when Dragon Ball Super or whatever the next iteration of Dragon Ball comes out there's gonna be a, a, a storyline maybe right away or maybe the next story after who knows what storyline we're gonna be getting to know more about oob oob I'm assuming it's oob I'm assuming like like who else could it be from Dragon Ball GT you know so oob He's going to have a freaking appearance finally in Dragon Ball Super after 131 episodes. Again, because I feel like this could literally be the potential that he is going to be in the next and very first arc of Dragon Ball Super when we return from the hiatus. Uh, other than that, I, d I don't really know what else I would say, but uh, I think that's literally the... The hiatus. We're really waiting for it. that, and who knows what's going to happen for the other two universes that weren't, did not uh, participate in the tournament of power because they were technically more advanced, more stronger than the other tournaments or the other tournaments, the other universes that participated. So, again, that's the theory. I'm thinking that we're going to be getting more information about Oob. So, yep. What happens after Dragon Ball Super? <laughs> I don't know. So, once again, everybody, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, leave a comment below. See you all for the next one, right? Bye bye.